So this one's tight bond too. I use it a little too much. This has been curing for two days. As you can see it's pulling up the foam. And it's pulling up the wood. Here's tight bond to glue in wood to foam. As you can see, I can't really budge it. As you can see, for the most part, the foam failed. Oh, it looks like it was still not quite dried after three days. Or else, my guess is probably it would all fail at the foam. So this is Type Bond 2 versus Type Bond 2. Here I've uh, roughened up with, I used a carpet kicker to rough it up. And it pretty much comes right off. And then without the carpet kicker, I would say that feels about the same as far as coming off. So this is Bayer exterior paint and this is Glid and Gripper. The Bayer is slightly harder to peel off than the uh, Type Bond 2. The wood to Gripper wasn't very strong. Even though it, I don't know, wood to gripper didn't seem very strong. Once again, the very strongly bonded wooden foam. I would say the Type Bond 2 was probably better glued to the foam. Because here you can see that it failed in the gripper. Actually, this is bare, so bare it failed in the paint. But I would say that it was stuck a little better to the foam than the Type Bond. Now, this is the Glid and Gripper. And that's stuck about the same, I would say, about the same as the Bayer. A little stronger than the Type Bomb 2. <laughs> Much stronger wood connection, though. That's a pretty strong wood to fabric. The bear had terrible wood to fabric. Feels like the gripper is going to have to be pried off. Uh, 
know, the, the gripper appears to have stuck pretty well. I think the Type Bond 2 had the best adhesion to, to the wood, to the foam. And I guess that's it.